Hi and welcome back to another video. Do you want to know how to restrict your kids internet access? Well, keep watching and I'll show you how. In this video, I'm going to show you how to restrict the kids internet access using traffic management rules in the Unify network portal. So to begin with, you need to be logged in to the Unify OS console, which as you can see on screen at the moment, I am. And for this video, I'm using Unify OS version on a UDM Pro and it's version 3.1.15. So from the Unify OS console, you need to go into network. Now you can click on network. As you can see in the list of applications I'm hovering over now or or alternatively from the top bar you can select the Wi-Fi access point symbol which looks like a Unify access point. So once you have done that you should then be taken into your Unify network portal. Now from the Unify network portal dashboard you need to select the settings cog from the left hand side which is looks like a gear or a cog icon and it's for settings it's the last icon in the list at the left hand side so select this this then takes you into the network dashboard specifically for Wi-Fi as you will see on screen at the moment so once you're in Wi-Fi you need to go down and select traffic management from the left hand side menu. This will then take you into the traffic management screen where you'll see two boxes, one for rules, one for routes and underneath that you will see a box for static routes as well. Now what you need to do is you need to select create new under the rules box. So click that. Then this will take you into the new rule screen. Now under action, you need to make sure that the word block has a blue border around it, which is to block internet access. Then under the category list, you need to select from the drop down menu, you need to select app group. Then underneath that, you will see app group. Now you need to select certain apps. So click on the drop down arrow and this will bring you up a list of predefined app categories. So in order to block access to Facebook and certain social media sites, for example, you need to select social networks and you also need to select online games which will block access to online games and you also need to scroll down and select media streaming services which will block access to such things as Facebook for example. You can also select instant messengers so that it will block access to for example WhatsApp um, but in this case I'm just going to be choosing the app group for social networks, online games and media streaming, which should block access to Facebook, TikTok, online games and so on. The target you need to select is you need to click on the arrow and scroll down and select the device which you want to have blocking applied to. In this case, I'm going to be choosing the name for PHON01, which is my mobile phone. You can select more than one target in one go. For example, we can also select SMTV, which would block access from the TV as well. But as I'm only choosing one target, and this is for the mobile phone in this example, I'm going to click X to remove the SMTV blocking. So once you have finished selecting your target which you want to apply the rules to, you can click 
the arrow up next to the target in the end of that bar, which will then close the drop down menu. Then under schedule, you can select from always, every day, every week, one time only, or you can have custom time. Now, if you want to block access, for example, at certain times every day, then you would choose every day. With every day selected, you can then move down to the time range section and you can enter the start time. For example, if you want to block access from say 8 p.m. at night, I would choose 20 hours and the end time would be say seven hours. So it would block internet access for those social media networks, online games and media streaming sites and apps from 8 p.m. at night until 7 a.m. the next morning. So you can add notes in the next box just to remind you what the actual blocking applies to or what rules there are. For example, you don't have to type anything in notes if you don't want. So once you've finished and confirmed everything is correct, you click add rule and this will take you back to the list of traffic management rules. And here you will now see that we have a rule to block access from the mobile phone to social media apps, online gaming, and also streaming sites as well, and streaming apps such as YouTube, for example, or TikTok. So that completes adding a traffic management rule to block internet access from a mobile phone. So in order to uh, check this I'll uh, bring up the screen from my mobile phone and uh, we'll check it to make sure that it's actually working. So here we are at my mobile phone screen. I'm connected to the Wi-Fi network as you will see from the symbol here on screen. So if we go ahead and open YouTube via the YouTube app you will see that it's not actually loading any content in the YouTube homepage, which confirms that it's actually blocked access. So here we are, we've clicked on YouTube Shorts, and as you can see, we have the spinning wheel, meaning it's trying to load content. So that confirms that it's actually blocked. So if we then try and open up Facebook and select the login page for Facebook, you will see that the address bar is not actually moving. It's trying to load Facebook, but it's not actually having any success because it's been blocked. Even if we try the mobile Facebook site, you'll see that it only loads so far and it only loads the Facebook. And this is because it's probably cached it in the internet cache files, but it's not actually loading the mobile Facebook site. So this confirms that internet access has been blocked from my mobile phone for the sites that we chose in the traffic rules. I hope you found this video useful, albeit a short video, but certainly very useful for blocking internet access for kids and also for businesses as well, where you want to block access to social media sites during um, business work time and so on. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe, like buttons and also the bell notification icon. And also, if you want to be a channel member, I now have channel memberships. Thanks for watching, take care and see you again in another video soon. Bye for now.